Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here with the American Firearms Association. In today's video, we're gonna show you like the original try that in a small town grandpa. The video you're gonna see here shows a guy who's probably in his late, late 60s, just beat the tar out of a punk kid who put a revolver in his face in the midst of this armed robbery. As always guys, we'd like to show you guys these stories to help all of us better prepare mentally and physically in case this situation ever happens to us. We're not lawyers here at AFA. We fight for your gun rights in state capitals and in Congress, so we're not giving you legal advice. We're giving you our take on what we would do if we were in this situation. Guys, don't forget, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And with that, we're gonna hit play. I'm gonna hit play in the video once at full speed. Then we're gonna play it again and kind of go through some of the, uh, the fun little details. Here we go. Kid comes in, pulls a revolver, aims it at the cowboy, hammers cocked back, putting it right in his face. But now he turns his back to the cowboy, and that's going to be a mistake. <laughs> cowboy lunges, bear hugs him. The kid is now stabbing, though, at the cowboy. We'll uh, slow it down and play it for you guys in a minute. Coworker grabs the revolver. Kid tries to run away. <laughs> they clothesline him, <laughs> and they thump him. He still has the knife in his hand, and they end up waiting for the cops to arrive, and they take him into custody. So, I mean, like I said, what can you say, right? All in all, uh, this guy, let me put it down to half speed here. All in all, uh, Grandpa is like he's the original, you know, old guy, uh, badass. You don't mess with guys like this. This kid must have not seen the reels, must have not seen the memes. He thought this guy was going to roll over and play dead, and instead he uh, he paid the price for his ignorance. So what could he have done better, right? What could he have done better? So we're going to play this again a little bit slower and let you guys look at it again, and we'll give you our take on what the guy could have done better again. Our hats off to this guy. If you watch the video, <laughs> he was so calm that the cowboy took his glasses off and laid them on the counter because he knew he was going to thump this kid's butt and he didn't want to have his glass. I mean, he didn't even lose his hat. Like this guy, cool cucumber. So nothing but respect. But what could be done better? What could we do to heighten our chances of survival? Let's discuss that here. Let's hit play. Yeah, kid comes in, points to the clerk, has the gun in his hand, looking around, waves the gun right in the guy's face. You can see if you zoom in, the hammer's back. This gun is cocked. He's ready to go. He presumes the old guy's going to panic. Old guy doesn't panic. <laughs> you see right here, right? Watch him. He takes his glasses. I, I love this part. And he calmly lays them down on the counter. Doesn't want to break his glasses after all. And by now, it's obvious that this older man is waiting for an opportunity. He's waiting for a chance to lunge. He's made the decision mentally that he's not going to submit to this punk in a revolver. He's going to attack him by hand. So he's waiting right now for his window. And this criminal, thankfully, gives him one right here. Fast forward through that. So as the criminal turns to face the other people in the store, this guy lunges. Now, again, nothing but respect for this guy for doing this. But the problem here, and, and the, 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 our, to, to our purposes here, he wasn't armed, right? He wasn't carrying a gun. So all he had was his hands. Now, as it turned out, that was sufficient. But obviously, lesson number one is carry a gun. Had he been armed, he could have engaged at this point and not had to close that distance and go hands on with a guy who was probably, I don't know, a third his age and was armed. So number one uh, takeaway would be have a gun. They're fighting. He gets the gun out of his hands. The gun falls across the ground right there. You can see it laying right there. Now, there's, there's going to be a co-worker coming across the side. He grabs the gun. That's great. But watch the thug. Watch the criminal. And I think it's his right hand. Right there. In his right hand, the outstretched hand, he has a knife. So... We need to, as armed citizens, be mindful of backup weapons. Just because you don't carry two weapons does not mean that a bad guy does not. 
I'm pretty sure that the grandfather in this case, the old cowboy, um, you know, that's a much more respectful phrase. The cowboy probably wasn't expecting multiple weapons. And so right there in the guy's right hand, he draws a knife and that could have been fatal easily could have been fatal for the cowboy. I'm going to keep playing here and you're going to watch the kid stab at, or maybe into the cowboy multiple times. Stab. Maybe again, right there. And it kind of goes off the screen. So be aware of multiple weapons because these guys are carrying them. They're still fighting. At this point, the kid breaks contact. You have the cowboy there in the middle. You have the bad guy on the right, and you have the, the other uh, co-worker on the left. They're all coming into collision right there at the front door. Right here, the uh, co-worker clotheslines him, and they lay him out on that countertop. The cowboy closes in. Second co-worker closes in. These guys, you see right there, he still has the knife in his hand. Let me back that up. You can see right there, that brief flash, right there, he has that knife in his hand. He is still a very, very dangerous threat at that point. He still has the knife in his left hand here. Cowboy has him in an arm bar, and they get him stopped right there. The video cuts. From what we could see in the news, uh, he was just held there at gunpoint, or I mean uh, held there, excuse me, um, by the uh, the cowboy uh, by force until the authorities arrived. So, again, mad props to the cowboy. But a couple of things. Number one, carry a gun because that's how you deal with armed, violent uh, criminals, not with your hands, with a firearm. Number two, be mindful for backup weapons. Uh, I don't think anybody thought this punk kid would have him, and he did. And that long blade could have very easily killed uh, the cowboy uh, when he got too close to him and, and went hands-on. Do not assume. And the final thing to really think about here, and again, I've said this 100 times now, mad props to the cowboy, right? But the final thing is at the end, when he's running down the center hallway, the center uh, sh uh, aisle there, the shopping center, he was ahead of these guys. They could have left him go. They could have decided, you know what? We're not going to engage. Could he have done that? Yeah. Should he have done that? Maybe. The cowboy wasn't armed. The store employees were not armed. And the criminal at that point, at the very least, had the butcher knife. So that would be an excellent time to let him leave the store and call the authorities. That being said, in the middle of a fight, adrenaline's running. I can see why they clotheslined him and grabbed him. They were not going to let him get away, but they could have. And so for the armed citizen, being aware of these dynamics, that might be a decision that you make sometime. If the attack has ended against you and the bad guy is fleeing the scene, that's not a bad direction to let him go. <laughs> let him go. And now if you've got family outside, if you're in there paying for gas, uh, I've got a wife and seven kids. If they're outside in the parking lot, well, then sure, that changes things. But if there's no threat to your loved ones outside, you may, in fact, choose to let them go. Guys, that's our take on this video. Give us your thoughts in the comment section. If you agree, disagree, let us know. What would you do if you were the cowboy in this situation? Don't forget. You have to sign up, guys. Subscribe to get more videos like this and join the fight today for the Second Amendment at joinafa.org.